Good morning class. I am teacher Mary Crisido Ocampo. Before we formally start, let's have our daily routine first, our preparatory activities. So let's have a prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, we thank you for this day. Please give us knowledge and strength for today's discussion. Continue guiding us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, good morning class. Please say present as I call your name. Okay, present, present. Very good. No one is absent. Okay, for now, let's have a recap regarding the previous lesson. So, last time, we discussed about the minerals, role, sources, and the RDA. We discussed about the calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, selenium, potassium, zinc, and sodium chloride. Okay, for now, let's have our motivation. Our motivation is guess the foods, fruits, or vegetables. So I am going to show you some pictures and all you need to do is guess what it is. Just raise your hand for me to recognize you. The top three students who will get the highest scores will have a reward later after the class. So anyone? Okay, Mr. Fernando. Very good. Berries. Okay, Mr. Juan. Onions, very good. Okay, Mr. Juan. Very good. Tomato soup. Yes, Mr. Juan again. Very good. Carrots. And the last one. Miss Fernando. Very good. Papaya. And now, we are going to start our discussion. So, here are the objectives. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to Number 1. Determine what food must be taken to supply the phytonutrients, specifically in flavonoids and carotenoids, needed by the body. Next is, prepare a snack or meal using the food available at home that contains phytonutrients. And number three is to value the importance of taking phytonutrients such as flavonoids and carotenoids in the body. So what is phytonutrients? Plant foods contain thousands of natural chemicals. These are called phytonutrients or phytochemicals. Phyto refers to the Greek word for plant and these chemicals help protect plants from germs, fungi, bugs, and other threats. So, phytonutrients are not essential for keeping you alive, unlike the vitamins and minerals that plant food contain. But, when you eat or drink phytonutrients, they may help prevent disease and keep your body working properly. Phytonutrients also have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties that can help support a healthy human body. More than 25,000 phytonutrients are found in plant foods. WebMD takes a look at these six important phytonutrients and their potential health effects. So, there are flavonoids, carotenoids, elagic acid, resveratrol, glucosinolates, and phytoestrogens. But we are going to discuss only the two, the flavonoids and the carotenoids. Phytonutrient health benefits. So in flavonoids, it can protect against cancer and cardiovascular disease. These phytochemicals contribute to healthy cell communication. This can trigger detoxification, decrease inflammation, and reduce the risk of tumor spreading. So we will discuss it furthermore later. Carotenoids are beneficial for eye health and immune health. 
Two of the six more common carotenoids, lutein and zeaxanthin, are found in the retina and can decrease your risk of developing macular degeneration by 43% according to studies. So, this will also be discussed furthermore later. Just like what I said earlier, we are going to discuss only two types of phytonutrients, which are the flavonoids and the carotenoids. Flavonoids Flavonoids are one of the largest groups of phytonutrients. This compound is rich in antioxidant properties and anti-cancer activity. So, what did the flavonoids do? Flavonoids help to regulate cellular activity and fight off free radicals that cause oxidative stress on your body. In simpler terms, they may help your body function more efficiently while protecting it against everyday toxins and stressors. Flavonoids are also powerful antioxidant agents. Antioxidants help your body fight off potential harmful molecules that can be introduced to the body. Your body produces antioxidants naturally, but they are also found in dark chocolate, legumes, and many fruits and vegetables. Inflammation is one of the body's immune responses. So, allergens, germs, toxins, and other irritants can trigger inflammation that results in uncomfortable symptoms. Flavonoids may help our body dismiss that inflammatory reaction so that those symptoms are reduced. Flavonoids, also known as bioflavonoids, are a family of polyphenol plant compounds with six subclasses. Here are the major classes of flavonoids and their food sources. Flavonols. So, these types of flavonoids are known for their antioxidant properties. The most abundant source of flavonoids in the diet flavonols include camphorol, quercetin, myricetin, and fisetin. These compounds are found in olive oil, berries, onions, Cal, grapes, tomatoes, red wine, and teas. In flavones, these are pigments in blue and white flowering plants. They also work as a natural pesticide, protecting leaves from harmful insects. Flavones may also help with inflammation in the body. You can find them in parsley, red peppers, celery, chamomile, and peppermint. So in flavanols and flavantrioles, foods with these types of flavonoids are very rich in nutrients. This subclass includes catechins such as epicatechin and epigalotecasin, which are found in high concentrations in black, green, and olong tree. Flavanols are also present in cocoa, apples, grapes, and red wines. So, in flavanones, these are known for anti-inflammatory properties. Found in citrus fruits, flavanones are responsible for the bitter taste of orange, lemon, and other citrus peels. Examples include hesperitin, naringenin, and eriodotichiol. They may also help you manage your weight and cholesterol. Flavonones are found in these foods, lemons, limes, oranges, and grapefruit. So the next is the isoflavones. The best known isoflavones are genistein and dedsin, which are found in soybeans and soy products. Isoflavones may help keep hormones balanced in your body. Isoflavonoids are mainly in soy, soy products, and some other legumes such as faba beans. For the last major class of flavonoids, we have anthocyanidins. 
naturally produce pigments that give flowers their red, purple, and blue color. They are predominantly found in the outer skin of berries and berry products like red and purple grapes, red wine, cranberries, blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries. So class, why do we need flavonoids? To sum it all, a diet rich in plant foods benefits the body in many ways. Phytonutrients like flavonoids have beneficial anti-inflammatory effects and they protect our cells from oxidative damage that can lead to disease. These dietary antioxidants can prevent the development of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, and cognitive diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. So, the other health benefits of flavonoids is cancer prevention. A published review of all flavonoid studies over 11 years concluded that a diet rich in flavonoids lead to a reduced risk of several different cancers. These studies indicate the antioxidant activity of flavonoids protect against breast, prostate, and colorectal cancers. So, it is important to note that these studies suggest that different flavonoids have a protective effect against specific cancer types. For example, anthocyanidins decrease lung cancer risk while flavonols reduce the risk of prostate cancer. Therefore, it is best to consume various plant food sources to obtain different flavonoid subtypes. The next is management of chronic pain and inflammation. Another medical review evaluated the anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving properties of flavonoids. As demonstrated in several studies, Studies have shown that flavonoids reduce the cellular response to pain. Researchers believe flavonoids could be used medically to manage chronic pain and treat inflammatory diseases. The last is treatment for viral infections. Flavonoids have proven antibacterial and antiviral effects. Numerous laboratory studies have shown that certain flavonoids prevent cell replication of H1N1 flu, HIV, SARS, and RSV viruses. Further research is needed to determine how flavonoids work in the body against viruses and whether they could be an effective preventative measure. And now we are going to discuss the carotenoids. Carotenoids are pigments in plants that are responsible for the bright colored use of vegetables and fruits. There are more than 600 carotenoids and they must be consumed through foods and sources of fat. Carotenoids act as antioxidants and some can be converted into vitamin A. They support immune system function eye health, and reduced our risk of cancer. So, how do carotenoids work? Carotenoids are fat-soluble compounds, meaning they are best absorbed with fat. Unlike some protein-rich foods and vegetables, cooking and chopping carotenoid-rich food increase the strength of the nutrients when they enter bloodstream. Two main groups of carotenoids. Carotenoids are classified into two main groups, the xanthophylls and carotenes. The first is xanthophylls. Xanthophylls contain oxygen and sometimes have more of yellow pigment. Xanthophyll carotenoids protect you from too much sunlight. They are most associated with eye health. Lutein and zeaxanthin fall under the xanthophyll category. Foods that fall under the xanthophyll category include kale, spinach, summer squash, pumpkin, avocado, yellow flesh fruits, corn, and egg yolks. 
The next is carotenes. So carotenes do not contain oxygen and are associated with more of an orange pigment. Carotene carotenoids play a significant role in helping plants grow. Beta carotene and lycopene fall under this category of carotenoids. Foods in the carotene category include carrots, cantaloupe, sweet potatoes, papaya, pumpkin, tangerines, tomatoes, and winter squash. So here are the health benefits of carotenoids. Eye health. Eating carotenoid-rich foods can protect the healthy cells in the eye and prevent the growth of cancerous cells. One of the leading causes of blindness is macular degeneration or the degeneration of the center of the retina. Long-term blue light exposure can cause this and negatively affect the delicate parts of the eye. However, the carotenoids lutein and zeaxanthin found in the retina can help to absorb the blue light. Studies show that incorporating at least 6 mg of lutein in your diet a day can decrease your risk of developing macular degeneration by 43%. Increasing the amount of lutein and zeaxanthin in your diet can also help to slow or help current eye damage and prevent your current condition from progressing. The next health benefits of carotenoids is cardiovascular health. Carotenoids are antioxidants lowering inflammation in the body. Though it's still being researched, carotenoid anti-inflammatory properties have been associated with improving cardiovascular health. Reducing inflammation helps to protect against heart disease and prevents arterial walls from being blocked. The next is cancer. Antioxidants protect cells from free radicals or substances that destroy or damage cell membranes. Increasing carotenoids via your diet can increase the amount of antioxidants and protective cells in your body. This is significant when they battling cancer and may be able to prevent cancer growth. So carotenoids have been associated with lowering cancer risk, specifically in lung cancer. When you smoke cigarettes, you ingest harmful chemicals that destroy healthy cells. Though mixed in results, one study showed a small decrease in risk from lung cancer when incorporating carotenoids into your diet. It is even healthier to stop smoking and increase carotenoids in your diet to help your lungs heal as you move past the addiction. Similarly, carotenoids have been associated with reducing the risk of skin cancer. Some carotenoids can break down into vitamin A, a nutrient that protects against premature skin damage from sun exposure. Both are the risk of melanoma, premature wrinkles, and unhealthy skin. So, that's end my presentation. Do you have any questions? If none, we are going to proceed in our application part. For the application, you will make an activity showing your preferred meal in the whole week containing foods that have phytonutrients such as flavonoids and carotenoids. Is that clear, class? Very good. So, generalization. You, the learners, must know what food must be taken to supply the phytonutrients such as flavonoids and carotenoids needed by the body to stay healthy. Understand? Okay. So, before we formally end our discussion, I am leaving you this quote. 
Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live by Jim Ron. So for the evaluation part, I am giving you a quiz to see among you who are ready for the next lesson. Is that clear? Okay, thank you. So that's end my presentation. Thank you and God bless. See you next meeting.